Scarecrow. Scared you, didn't I? Scarecrow was a character who went through a number of uh, evolutions. Originally, the character was very cerebral. You know, Jonathan Crane was a was a guy who was experimenting with a with a with a fear drug, but there was always something a little bit not too quite scary about him. The Scarecrow should be kind of scary, and no matter what you do with it, a guy with you know a jack o' lantern face and scarecrow clothes is is not scary. Yeah, I'm not sure how the change came about. Uh, of the look, that may have come from Bruce. He wanted to go from just making him a scarecrow to almost appearing like a, like a corpse. And he evolved the most of all the characters. We got darker and darker and darker with the character. So we took a really radical departure and we, we kind of made him look, you know, we put the noose around his neck and kind of gave him like kind of Western preacher clothes and gave him like this, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre leather face kind of look and really had nothing to do with being a scarecrow per se, but he was definitely scary. He looked like a hanged man who had been cut down and, and, you know, had gone off to terrorize people. We weren't even sure if there was an actual guy in the suit. When we all saw that model, we went, oh, yes, that's it. Fear is power. On the redesign, I believe we recast him, and Jeffrey Combs did his voice, uh, the reanimator. We all watched it come to life. We actually saw it come to life and said, that's absolutely right. That is how that voice should be for that drawing. What's the use of providing me with test patients if you're going to lose them? You should have monitored him more carefully. They just had him whisper. And that whispery rasp was so scary. Um, they realized, you know, maybe we were trying too hard earlier. Maybe you didn't need that much. Just a, a really scary, dark-looking guy with the noose around his neck and a, and a nice, raspy whisper. Yeah, that'll do it. That's pretty scary.